So three months ago, we walked out of our church and we knew that people were gonna go joining other churches in the community. And so Edward Moe came to me and said, let's start our own church. Let's, let's, let's keep our church family together and start our own church. And so that, that day I called Carol Bruce. She was an old friend of mine and, and asked her if, if we could do that. And she said, absolutely, the, the GMC's got your back. And so we put the word out and the ladies put it out on a text and it grew from seven ladies to 30 something ladies in a couple of days. We knew what we wanted to do. So uh, we decided that we would just have a lay led service until uh, we figured out otherwise. It was not an easy decision. There was a, a lot of people that, that really took a step in, on faith and, uh, and it's worked. God's opened every door for us from packing the house to helping us find pews to helping us find a, a new full-time pastor. It's been such a blessing. From the moment that I got in touch with the people here at Winnie, it just felt like everything clicked. I prayed about it a lot. Where is God going to send me? What did God want me to do? And as soon as I talked with the people here at Winnie and got to step into these facilities here and realize what, what was going on and see all the people, I knew that this is the place that God wanted me to be. I've seen God working in this situation in many ways. People have, have stepped up and got way out of their comfort zone, you know, be it be praying, preaching, inviting other people to church. And, and you can just see it when, when people come for the first time, you see the tears overcome them and, and the Spirit of God filling the room. Today's Kyle's first Sunday as our lead pastor. We need that spiritual leader to help us move to the, to the next level. And Kyle's gonna help us do that. As soon as I got here, as soon as I walked up in front of them, I said, this is church. You guys are here, you're singing, you're, you're feeling the spirit, you're excited to be here, and um, you can just feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And hopefully some others see this and go, hey, we can do that. And they can, you know, we, we weren't sure what we were doing. We didn't have a clue and God planted the seed and we've, just worked hard at it and kept doing things and things keep falling in place. I think it, it, it tells you that, that people are looking for God and searching for God and, and at times if you can help them find Him outside of the walls of a, a normal sanctuary and the, the brick and mortar that we typically associate a Sunday service being um, at, I think it, uh, I think it will open the doors for other people to, to come and, and, and learn, experience God.